and it's only been a week, and now we're going to flood again. People living along the Kasumnas River are bracing for another round of evacuations as this storm brings more rain to that area. For the third time in less than two months, officials have issued a voluntary evacuation and they're asking people to seek higher ground. Now, the Kasumnas River is expected to reach flood stage overnight and will peak at 14.9 feet in about five hours. That's more than two and a half feet above flood stage. And CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is in Wilton tonight with the latest for us. Jennifer? Sam and Christina, crews are already prepared for flooding, which is why the Dillard exit southbound on Highway 99 is shut down. You know, nearly everyone living along the Katsumnas River has been affected in one way or another, and especially folks in Point Pleasant. We've gotten about three and a half feet of water in our house. That was in January. This was in February. Right here is the flood line from last week. We have to kayak into our house. Wendy Wilkinson and Gilbert Mendez have been flooded to their wits' end and can't believe it's going to happen again. At this point, we're raising, we're going up and up because we don't know what you know our next flood is going to be. They live on the other side of the railroad tracks off of Franklin Road. The overflowing McCollumy and Consumnes River gets trapped and has nowhere to go but in their home. And we're not getting the flood relief. The pool's been flooded twice now. While many areas are protected by levees, Mendez says here they're not. Right now, the, the community here feels like we're just the armpit of the waterway and we're a casualty and they're just going to let it happen to us. These are the original uh, flood marks from January. A pain we're so many house. have weathered as rain continues to pound and water begins to rise. We've lost everything. All our pictures. Wilkinson says it flooded 10 years ago, but nothing like this. It's one of those things where we just don't know. You just have to prepare yourself for anything. About right here. They say they're ready for round three, but can't imagine taking on any more water. Officials say this gusty and high winds could also cause problems for those levees, so they're keeping a close eye on them, but say the town of Wilton could get hit hardest by tomorrow and Point Pleasant on Wednesday. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much. Live for us tonight in Sacramento County. Now, we're right in.